energy. I don't empanic with my basket throat. <laughs> I don't empanic with my basket throat to choke I kill him up. Yeah, what are you guys saying? I'm back, I'm back in the building. And you know, you already know what? <laughs> okay. The intro to these is just because I'm a person that just likes to go straight into it because I feel like I don't need to explain myself to you. I don't need to do Q&A. Anyways, I feel like you should be able to know me just by, via my content. I feel like you should be able to know me just by my content. So let me move the mic. Sorry if that deafened y'all because ultra. Yeah, like I said, I just like to get straight into things. As you guys can see by the title, it's just literally things I wish I learned in school. Life will come at you fast. Number one, life will come at you fast, yeah? Life will come at you suddenly and it will come at you fast. It will be your childhood and then all of a sudden, it's like this, you have to start paying bills. You just have to adapt. Life will come at you fast. They don't prepare you for this. I just have to pre-warn you. There's no transition into adulthood. It's just straight, bam, straight in your face. Anyway, number two, taxes. If you weren't brought up in a certain type of class or in a certain type of household, by the time you hit 18, you will know nothing about taxes. So it's your fault. No, I'm just joking. It's the system's fault, but it's your problem to deal with. So it's for you to get clued up on, especially if you're self-employed. And I'ma get into that. Bills, bills, yeah? Everything, bills. <laughs> Bills, bills, you see? <laughs> bills and spending, especially when it comes to your spending. When you get a job, yeah, don't buy that coffee every morning, don't do it, yeah? I get it, support local businesses. If you wanna do that, by all means, go and do that. But don't buy that coffee every single morning. It adds up. Instead, save the money and get a coffee machine. Trust me, in the long run, you'll be saving a lot more money. When it comes to paying for your bills, you're gonna need to know what your cash flow is and what your expenses. Bye. I'm not doing this today. <laughs> Let me drink some H2O. It's <clears throat> my. When it comes to paying for your bills, you're gonna to need to have an expenses and a cash flow chart. Cash flow is just like what you are being paid, so from your job or from what other business ventures that you're doing. And then your expenses is what you're spending your money on, whether it's bills, <laughs> bills, and more bills, or whether it's like. <laughs> or clothes, you're gonna need to know which is which, just so that you can separate money for your bills. Especially because that delivery that you ordered last week, David, it was just unnecessary. I'm having flashbacks. As soon as I said bills, I was like, I bought delivery twice in two days. Who? Who asked me? Anyways, so being self-employed, especially especially for UK residents, if you're a creative like me, you want to get paid by doing something that you love. That means the tax man's gonna want to have a cut of it. So you need to understand what can get taxed. Again, cash flow expenses. So example, me as a singer, I bought a microphone. That won't get taxed as it's a business expense. But when I go and buy my clothes from ASOS, that gets taxed. This video is just highly triggering me. Yeah, so you're gonna need to know about taxes and what the margins are. Social life, oh, so, oh, your social life. Your social life, depending, depending on the field of work that you're gonna go into. Oh, shit. Depending on the field of work that you're gonna go into, your social life will either suffer in the barren lands or it will thrive. Stay in contact with your friends where possible because you may not even see or speak to your friends for at least one to two weeks. And you need to be all right with that. Yeah, I'm not indirecting any of my friends because they're all all right with them. Just I think we've got the giggles today. I need to stop. Oh my God, it's gonna be a pain to edit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, if, if you're not smart with your money, you will always be taking out loans or you will be living in the overdraft. So manage your money well. I'm gonna do a video on cash flow and expenses. <coughs> Sorry, I just burped right into the mic. I need a fan up in this bitch. The ghetto. Travel. Plan your travel in adv- Oh, child. Ooh. I'm getting flashbacks. Plan your plan, 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 plan. Plan your travel in advance. Listen, listen to me. Traveling in these cities is not cheap. Gas is not cheap, and neither is traveling in cities, especially I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about I'm gonna do a whole nother video on them and why they need anyway. But again, traveling is not cheap. Make sure you plan in advance. Especially in this London, traveling in London is not cheap. <laughs> I'm gonna do a video on the reason why you know that jazz. But anyway. <laughs> but for real, look, can we just, you know, can, can we just, because I, I just need two seconds because I remember, yeah, back when travel cards were three pounds. There used to be a time when the travel cards, yeah, used to be red, but now they're orange. They used to be three pounds for a child, yeah. And that's all zones. Now as an adult, travel cards are pushing 60 plus 70 pounds per month. Why is that? Anyway, they need to give me a free card because, you know, I love transport. Anyway, just plan your, plan your travel in advance. Driving. Okay, 
So depending, depending on where you live in the UK, the best way to get around would be via car. Now, the smart people, unlike me, the smart people will get their provisionals as soon as they hit 16 years old and then go and do their lessons from then, from early. That's what smart people do. So that in the long run, their insurance becomes cheaper. Don't be like me, car pending. I don't have my drive. <laughs> Ignore him, management. Um, don't be like me. I pay it off till the last minute, yeah. Even though last week I really did try to, you know, start with lessons and then the panoramic came, messed up everything. I'm not gonna go into that. I might even do a run on that because it started to. Sh <laughs> don't be like me. Start your lessons from early. Oh, loyalty cards. Oh, chat. Yes, ma'am. Loyalty cards. Loyalty cards are your best friends. So, like your club cards, your nectar cards, listen, stack those points, stack those points because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you'll get a free voucher or some money off. And trust me, like Tesco says, every little helps. Sponsor me. <laughs> lastly, lastly, make time for fun. Listen, I'm gonna get close to the camp or eat up my spots, so I'm actually not. <laughs> Ooh, make time for fun. Like it's essential that you make time for fun. You walk around and you see like grumpy adults. The reason for that is they have killed their inner child. They're not doing anything that fuels their inner child or that gives their inner child joy. My best advice to you, do things that feed your inner child whether that's you know painting going for a walk going running making music something that brings you joy something that brings that creative that child out of you because see this world this world is built this world is built to make you grumpy and great i don't like great things don't take what i'm saying out of context but yeah like keep doing things that just bring out that inner child in you that bring out the joy even if you have to skip through the park and look stupid do it with your friend because you look mad Keep doing things that bring out that inner child in you. If you have to go walking in your wellies on a rainy day, do it. Make sure that you're doing things to bring out your inner child. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Of the video. Of the video. Yeah. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for, for listening to this chaos. Just pure, utter chaos. Yeah. I don't know if they teach you these things in school now, but when I was at school, <laughs> all they taught me about was the isosceles triangle. Where? where, where? Where am I going to use the isosceles triangle? In what realm? <laughs> David, what do you do in your spare time? Go off topic. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you liked, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share to your people, share on your stories, but most importantly, share to your people that actually like YouTube. This is a safe space for us all. Okay? If there's anything you want me to go into detail about that I've mentioned in the video, make sure you comment down below. I don't know how long I've been filming for, but I would really like to stop now because my voice is getting mashed up. For all the teens and individuals going into adulthood, good luck. <laughs> I'm just joking you've got this literally you've got this just make sure you make sure you're equipping yourself with the knowledge you've got this love and light ben